Hi guys, uh, welcome to this hackathon session. I hope you guys had a great day um, with jam pack sessions throughout the day. So this talk is going to be about the hackathon kickoff. And so in this we will actually start uh, the hackathon and introduce the hackathon to you guys and um, let's go through it. Uh, so it's going to be a quick presentation and uh, we'll talk about like the terms and conditions of the hackathon that you guys need to keep in mind and what you guys are going to build as part of the hackathon. OK, so here is a quick set of guidelines. Uh, what we expect out of the hackathon um, is submission of pipeline templates. In case if you are new to Azure Data Factory, you would uh, you can go to Azure Data Factory and you would see that there are uh, template galleries and there are a bunch of templates in it. Templates is kind of a quick start template or think of it as a quick start solution where customers can click on it and they can start to instantiate the pipeline in in quite less time. And so the, the what the expectation of the hackathon is that you would be building a pipeline template and sharing that with us along with a demo video of the template on example how it works. It could be a very short demo like between five to ten minutes and then um, also do a documentation or a blog post uh, explaining that particular pipeline template, uh, explaining the key challenges that the template solves uh, in clear steps. Uh, think of it that a new user of Data Factory should be able to understand that template and be able to create a pipeline out of that template. That's the guidance. And uh, there are a few uh, challenges for this hackathon and we'll talk about them. There are three challenges where you can participate. So these are three areas where you can actually contribute to the pipeline templates on. And before we get into the details of those categories, uh, let's talk about the timelines. The submission deadline is 17th of Feb, which is two weeks from now. So you, you get two weeks to go through, think of a challenge or think of a solution based on the challenges provided here and then come up with a solution and then have the pipeline template ready, which can be shared with us uh, and then a quick demo recording um, of the demo or of the template that you build and also with some corresponding documentation on how to instantiate that particular pipeline template. And, and the winners will be announced on the 1st of March uh, 2021. And here's a quick link that you need to uh, keep it handy for submission of the hackathon. Uh, which is aka.msadfhack. Uh, so if you access this link, it's going to take you onto a browser. Um, and of course, that's submission link. It's a forms link. You can find more details here. You can also find an email uh, alias where you can reach out to in case if you have any questions. Uh, any questions related to Hackathon, feel free to send an email on this particular email, uh, email ID, right? Hackathon2021 at Microsoft.com. Uh, we will be happy to clarify any questions that you have. Uh, here you need to put in a few fields like name, email IDs, uh, and link to the templates, link to the video, uh, and link to the blog or documentation. Blog is not ne really necessary. Documentation is all we need. You can put a link to each one of these here. Uh, so you can put the blogs and, and the pipeline templates on any public storage, OneDrive, Google Drive, anywhere, and put in a link here so that we can access it. Coming back to the guidelines. So as I said, keep these two links handy and the, uh, and the timelines. Uh, AKA.msadf hack is where you need to submit your pipeline templates. And any in case of any clarifications, reach out to us on hackathon2021 at microsoft.com. Now let's go deeper into the categories and what kind of solutions uh, can you build um, in ADF? And it's very easy. You build a pipeline and then you can simply generate a template out of a pipeline. There's a beautiful button uh, which can help you generate a, a pipeline template out of an existing pipeline. So all you have to think about is building a pipeline in any of these categories. First to start off with is the performance category. So build any pipeline or ETL pipeline which uh, deals with uh, high throughput data copy or which deals with high throughput data flow transformations, uh, transforming uh, like a TB size data or in case of copy, uh, being able to achieve higher than 2 GB per second of throughput. So there, I have put a couple of links here 
in terms of the guidance for copy uh, when you're using copy in data factory or when you're using data flows in data factory. And I, I assume you might have also reviewed Mark's session earlier today on the data flow performance. And similarly, there's a copy performance tuning session as well, which Linda will be taking later in the day. Now, uh, and of course, there are link corresponding links to it, which can give you a good idea on how to do uh, the performance tuning for copy and for data flows and keep those guidelines in mind while building this uh, solution and participating in this category for performance. So all we expect is a end to end ETL pipeline. It could be only using copy. It could be using combination of both copy and data flows. Uh, of course, uh, the, the um, if you use both, uh, that that would be much better uh, in, instead of just doing copy or data flows. Now, the other category is around best practice and best practice doesn't necessarily uh, uh, mean that you will generate a pipeline template. Uh, it can also be some kind of a guidance uh, around, for example, uh, log monitoring scripts. You can basically do uh, Azure log analytics monitoring scripts, which can help customers monitor um, for example, uh, data factories across the subscription or across the tenants, all right, at scale. So right now, data factory has monitoring in built within uh, the data factory instance. So think of solutions where you can actually do a best practice for an enterprise which has 100 factories or 200 factories. And how do you solve the monitoring challenges, uh, cost ch challenges, keep a tab on the cost and things like that, and how you can integrate things with, with log uh, analytics to kind of come up with a common dashboard of solving those problems. So it could be best practices on those lines. It could be best practices on perf lines as well, which not necessarily translates into pipeline template, but it does translate into a documentation which talks about those best practices, uh, architectural guidance and stuff like that. And then the third category is around creative or uh, being creative with your solution. So thinking out of the box solution here or any high impact problem solver. So it's it's a pretty open category. Uh, it's all based on your creativity, any business challenges that you have faced before uh, which you think uh, can be solved with uh, ADF pipeline template uh, that you can share. Um, so that also qualifies for uh, the creative stuff. So it's being very creative out here. Uh, you can actually participate in any of these categories. There's no limit on how many entries you can make. Um, of course, we'll talk about the judging criteria next, but you can participate in all three categories. You can do multiple entries as well. Some of the design considerations keeping in mind while building these solutions or participating in the hackathon is performance. One of the few things that you need to keep in mind, uh, you know, is when you design a best practice doc or even get, you know, participating in the performance uh, section, keep things in mind around performance, around data, data movement, around parallelism, around the orchestration piece that you will be using, the control flow that you would be using in data factory and all those. And then, Things like handling data quality, uh, slowly changing dimensions, especially when you're doing transformations using data flows, uh, errors, handling of errors, uh, kind of building a resilient pipeline. Uh, those are also some of the considerations that you need to keep in mind. Then comes a very important factor is parameterization because the whole story around building templates uh, or templatization is to make it easily reusable by others, right? And how do you do that? Is kind of creating generic pipelines in nature, which means you, you can probably enable parameterizations in data flows, in copy, so that anyone who wants to quickly replace it or use this pipeline with their own databases, with their own tables, they can parameterize those uh, those properties in there, right? So this is also going to be a key, key criteria while you design these pipeline templates is how easy is it to use and how much parameterization have you actually taken care of uh, so that users do not have to every time up, keep updating pipelines when they use it in their scenarios. And then, of course, the final thing is ease of use of the template. Think of it that these templates will uh, or could even show up in the template galleries in, in Azure Data Factory uh, in the future. So uh, while designing that, you have to keep in mind that anyone who is not really aware of what the template does should be able to get enough guidance uh, to kind of instantiate that template successfully, right? So that's also uh, keeping in mind. And so you need to have proper script, uh, maybe demo video or a corresponding doc, which kind of outlines what this template does. And then let's get to the judging criteria. 
So how do we judge this is uh, we will give, of course, points based on the performance considerations that you have put in in the pipelines that you have built, uh, the parameterization that you have done in your pipelines, uh, and, and then uh, of course the documentation that accompanies uh, your submissions and the demo video as well. So these are kind of uh, the main judging criteria that we will look into in whichever categories you participate in. Uh, these will be the high level criteria that uh, we will be looking at in terms of judging. Now, what's in it for you? Of, of course, um, one of the thing is each category winner will get um, a hoodie, uh, uh, which will be ADF hoodie, and then stickers as well uh, with ADF on, all over it. And then uh, the other good part around this is uh, we will also select a few of the templates which meets the quality based on the judges feedback uh, will also show up in the template gallery in data factory. Today what you see in the template gallery in data factory is only Microsoft authored templates. Now we want to expand that and of course hackathon is the best way to do that with all you guys um, with with uh, you know guys who actually understand no data factory. So this is the right time where community can be pitched in and we would probably want to grow template gallery as well. So uh, many of these templates which you submit, uh, even if they are not category winners, don't worry about it. Those effort is not going to get wasted. We will select the top ones from all the submissions and we will make it available in the template gallery and it will of course mention uh, the author's name in there. So you will kind of feature uh, in the template galleries as well in some point at some point in time. Um, and so this is additional to category prizes and can contain as many entries as possible that meet the judging bar. So it's all based on the judges which they feel that these are uh, really nicely done templates or these solve some you know, good business scenarios. Uh, we would be happy to feature them in the ADF template galleries. So just quickly recapping things, uh, you know, here's the timeline. Uh, we start. This is the kickoff session for the ADIF hackathon. Uh, submission deadlines. Keep in mind is 17 Feb. You have two weeks. You have two weekends to work on. Probably weekdays would be better to work on it. Uh, not the weekends, but uh, you have two full weeks to work on it. And here's the link on the top again. It's aka.ms ADF hack on how you need to submit these, uh, you know, templates or artifacts. And then 1st of March will be the announcement for the winners. And here are some resources in case if you're struggling, if you are, do not have an Azure subscription, you can always sign up for an Azure free trial. And here's a link on that. Uh, so you can click on that and sign up for new Azure subscription. In case if you do not have a subscription, yet you want to submit a pipeline template, so you can always sign up for a free trial and create a new data factory and start to author a pipeline and then create a template out of that pipeline. And um, if you are, if you do not have the data sets, uh, in, in case if you want to build some pipelines and you are looking out for some data sets, there are a lot of uh, free data sets available, license free data sets available on Azure Open Data Sets. So you can go there, access those sample data sets. For example, New York taxi data sets are pretty much of the size of uh, 50 GB in our head. So you can pretty much get like GBs. Uh, you know, hundreds of GBs of data sets on Azure Open data sets that large data set sizes. And then in case if you have any questions around the hackathon, please feel free to drop an email on hackathon 2021 at Microsoft.com for any clarifications. And that's about it uh, from the session. So we'll be open up for the questions. Uh, we still have five or six minutes to go, so we'll be open up for the questions and thank you uh, all for attending the session. Thank you and have a nice evening.